Hello, content seekers and video watchers alike. Once again, I have taken a break from smoozing A-list celebrities and cozying up to the world's richest to bring you yet another fantastic YouTube experience for your viewing pleasure. I don't know about you, but I love a good adventure flick. Whether it be Indiana Jones or Lara Croft, as long as someone is going into some ancient tomb to find hidden treasure, I will be deeply entertained. So, when I heard there's a real-life Indiana Jones that left real-life treasure for anyone that can strap on some hiking boots and find it, I just knew I had to tell you lovely souls all about it. This real-life Indiana Jones has a name straight from an adventure novel, Forrest Fenn. Now, before we get into the treasure hunt that Mr. Fenn has set out for us all, let's first look at his life and how he came into the position of offering up treasure hunts for the public. Fenn was a fighter pilot for the U.S. Air Force during Vietnam, but in his spare time, he'd accompany archaeologists on digs in exotic locations. So right off the bat, we are getting into some serious Indiana Jones vibes. But it just doesn't stop there. Fenn served in the Air Force for 20 years and is said to have survived 328 combat missions in Vietnam. He earned various decorations as a result of his service, including the Silver Star Medal, the third highest personal decoration for valor in combat. But instead of settling for those medals he earned with honor by serving his country, Fenn would collect something he deemed even more precious. In fact, Fenn set his mind on buying sculptures from struggling artists and casted them in bronze. He managed to sell some of these pieces, but rather than settling, he traded most of them for Native American artifacts. Over the years, Fenn's sale of artifacts enabled him to open up his own gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He opened up this gallery back in 1973, entitled it Fenn Galleries. By the late 1980s, Fenn's art collection was so large and exclusive that he grossed roughly $6 million per year in revenue. His noteworthy collection, which included a mummified falcon from King Tut's tomb and Sitting Bull's Peace Pipe, attracted an extensive list of high-profile celebrity clientele, which included the likes of directing legends Steven Spielberg and Robert Redford and many others interested in authentic ancient artifacts. This notoriety snowballed into a massive wealth, one that Fenn himself might not have seen coming in his early days as a humble soldier. But alas, the money did come in, and so what was he to do with it? Well, Mr. Forrest Fenn decided to live a lavish life with his lovely wife, and this continued until Fenn received some disheartening news. In 1988, he was diagnosed with kidney cancer. Suddenly, Fenn realized he was a mortal man sitting on a pile of cash. Questions of his legacy began to arise in his mind. What was it all for, he thought. Will people remember me, he pondered. Did I pay the water bill this month, he asked himself. All of these thoughts echoed in his mind until he came up with the brilliant idea that eventually would lead to this video unfolding before your very eyes. Forrest Fenn decided he would create a treasure chest and bury it somewhere in the mountains so that long after his death, people could pursue adventure in his name. That was the idea, anyway, until Fenn did what Fenn does, and he beat his kidney cancer. So the whole treasure thing was kind of put on the back burner for a few years. Thankfully, he went through with it anyway, even though the motivation of an imminent death was not on his shoulders. He purchased a 12th century Romanesque 10 by 10 inch lockbox and secretly filled it with valuable artifacts, including a copy of his autobiography. Fenn planned to haul the treasure into the mountains. Now, originally, Fenn planned on planting his treasure at the end of his life and dying beside it, so that whoever was lucky enough to find the treasure would also find a skeleton. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, but I think it's probably pretty awesome. Not to mention, that's as Indiana Jones as it gets. Anyway, a lengthy 32 years after receiving his cancer diagnosis, Forrest Fenn launched his treasure hunt to the world. In its 
its eight-year existence, Fenn claims that over 300,000 people have attempted to find his hidden treasure, and he receives over 100 emails per day from hunters attempting to solicit clues as to his treasure's location. But the statistics surrounding this fun treasure hunt aren't all that good. In fact, there have been four known deaths related to Fenn's treasure hunt, most recently Jeff Murphy's in 2017. In the same month that Murphy went missing, June 2017, 52-year-old Colorado native Paris Wallace also went missing while reportedly looking for Fenn's treasure. Wallace's body was discovered in the Rio Grande rivers only a couple of days later. These deaths have, of course, alarmed the local law enforcement, and they have more than once requested that Fenn cancel the hunt altogether. Fenn, however, insists on keeping the hunt alive. But in order to prevent the loss of life as much as possible, he left extra hints to try and keep the adventurers safe. Fenn wrote that, in the light of a recent accident and in the interest of safety, he felt he owed it to the community to divulge more information. The treasure chest is not underwater, nor is it near the Rio Grande River. It is not necessary to move large rocks or climb up and down a steep precipice, and it is not under a man-made object, Fenn wrote. He also reminded hunters that he was 80 years old when he hid the treasure, so the hiding spot would be a place that an elderly man can easily access. Please be cautious and don't take risk, Fenn advised. But these clues weren't the first clues that Fenn released to the public. The launch of Forrest Fenn's treasure hunt coincided with the release of his 2010 self-published memoir, The Thrill of the Chase. And inside this book contains the roadmap for finding the treasure in the form of a 24-stanza poem, one that Fenn says possesses the nine clues that will hunt us to his grand prize. And I have been told that I am an excellent reader of poems, so if you would listen closely, here it goes. As I have gone alone in there, and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secrets where, and hint of riches new and old. Begin it where warm waters halt, and take it in the canyon down, not far, but too far to walk. Put in below the homes of brown, from there it's no place for the meek, the end is ever drawing nigh. There'll be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. If you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. But tarry scant with marvel gaze, just take the chest and go in peace. So why is it that I must go and leave my trove for all to seek? The answers I already know. I've done it tired and now I'm weak. So hear me all and listen good. Your effort will be worth the cold. If you are brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. Along with the poem, the book also included a map with a highlighted area of the Rocky Mountains that I do hope my new editor, Thomas, will include. Since its beginning, the legend of this treasure hunt has steadily risen in popularity. There are a multitude of forums and websites dedicated to finding out where the treasure is located and deciphering the poem, and all of the clues that Forrest Fenn has laid out. And of course, there are plenty of non-believers. Many claim that it's all a sham, and that Fenn is a delusional man. Some even believe that Fenn suffers from dementia and that the buried treasure doesn't exist at all. I for one choose to believe, because I aim to keep my sense of imagination in tune, and what can I say? I'm an optimist. But it's pretty easy for me to believe it considering there's no chance I'm strapping on some hiking gear to trek through the Rocky Mountains in search for a box of treasure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's all the info I've got for you today. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you've stayed for this long, know that I love you with all of my heart. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Pip pip the doodly doo.